Hey guys, it's Doc from the Gold Hog, and we've actually started selling and we're going to start shipping out the Gold Cyclones now, but this is the final video and final product update because we've done some revisions to it and I'm going to show that to you. Now initially we were saying you could run it in three different modes, which is the standard, the pro, and the commercial mode. But really, um, after our final testings on this commercial mode, it is the only way that we're shipping it out. It's just so efficient, runs so cleanly that we're going to be shipping it out. So don't get confused. I've got, I've got other videos up there, which I'm going to leave up there that show the Cyclone running it with two rings and one ring. But I'm going to show you today a couple of adjustments that we've made on the unit so you know how it's shipping out. Okay, so here's the unit and um, here's the main change I want to show you. And it's only going to have one ring in it. And this is what I call the commercial mode because you end up having this full tube to allow this separation process that I'm going to show you today to go on. So the product, so you know, will only ship with one ring and it is placed right about here. And I just want to show that, that this is the commercial mode. This is the way they're all going to ship out and you run it this way all the time. Now I'm going to show you one other change we've made. Okay, so here's the other change we've made. And that is on the tailings tube or the screen indicator tube. We were going to glue this mat in, but what we did is we lengthened it so that it had a little bit of bite. So now what you could do is you could just pull this mat out, clean it, and actually put it back in very easily. Once you put it back in, just tuck it in, and it's ready to go. Now, might there be a piece of gold that gets under here? Yes, but it doesn't matter. This is really not for catching gold. This is just your indicator tube. And again, this goes this way. So you're going to have a little bit of a space in here, what you want. Then you're going to have your mat. So I just look at it, put it in the unit, put my other piece on top. And again, depending on the size, the amount of concentrates that you're running, I just use a coffee can. You can let it drop directly into a five gallon bucket or even put a two gallon bucket inside here if you want. You'll play with it and do it on your own. But today I'm actually just back here in the corner behind my house over here because it's pretty windy out here and there might be a little bit of rain. But I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to run concentrates. We did the Viper Pro Flare run and uh, we, have, we did two long runs. We ran about eight tons of material. We have about a gallon and a quarter, gallon and a half of concentrates. All I did is screen it down to a quarter of an inch and I'm going to run it through this and show you the run. But all I'm going to do is, is when I start this unit, I'm just going to let the unit basically fluidize the material. I'm going to barely keep it spinning at the bottom and I'm going to create a standard fluid bed is what I'm going to do. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my lower unit on. I'm going to turn my funnel on, and my funnel is just barely running. That's all it is, just barely running. Now, if you do start with one quarter inch material, I will tell you that you need to feed it a little bit slower. Once in a while, this funnel tube might get clogged up, and you might have to lift it up or tap it and make it go down, but put a whole bunch in there, quarter inch will clog it. Nothing else will clog it, um, but if you do run quarter inch material, you just have to speed it just a little bit slower, maybe even a little bit more water to help it flush down. The first thing you do is you put a couple tablespoons in it. And then after I do that, I'm just going to watch this bottom tube down here. And I just want to see that that's actually, that that's actually kind of spinning, but I want to see if the material's going down so I don't have the flow too high. Now it's also important to remember that the more that you add more material, Obviously, this, this tube is going to slow down, so you need to give it a little more juice and a little more juice as you keep adding material. All the material is going down. It looks good. I look down at the bottom, and I can see that that bottom part portion is still fluidized. Sometimes you'll see this funnel sort of pause, and the material slowly go down. But one thing I did want to show you is I've added a, uh, two or three cups now. I wanted to show you what it looks like. And you can see that there's a little bit of fine material up here, clearing out here, and the larger material is down here. What we're dealing with here is we're actually dealing with terminal velocity. And that's something, I'm not going to go into that a whole bunch, but it's terminal velocity. and. It's not just based on specific density. That's a big mistake people make. They think it's specific density when in fact it really is terminal velocity. 
The gold is having to fight through a force. That's why it's not just specific density. Even though I've got fine gold in here, it may get kicked out at some point when I start to increase this force or this flow. I've gone ahead and I fed, um, it's about a gallon and a half of cons through there, just raw cons, screened a quarter of an inch. I want to show you the tube. But it's a good lesson to learn that you can see the smaller particles up here. And as you go down, the particles get larger and larger and larger. And remember, it's not just, this isn't just specific gravity. There's hydraulic equivalence, there's terminal velocity involved with this as well too. So now I'm going to turn this up and start the action on it. And once I get it spinning, I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a little bit of juice. Once I give it the juice, I'm just going to sit there and just watch. Let it process for about five to ten seconds and just keep an eye on it. At some point, you'll start to see a clear gap in here. And there's your clear gap starting. And all I'm doing is give it a little tweak, a little tweak, a little tweak. Let me shut off my upper water. That's one thing I keep forgetting to do. I keep forgetting to shut off my funnel water. The nice thing about running a quarter inch material is that all these things are round rocks and man they just pan off real nice. That's about where I'm going to stop it I think. So I've taken a gallon and a half of concentrates and now you can see what I have left. And that's all I have to deal with there. That's pretty nice. Okay, so today I'm going to show you the intelligent way to clean this. Normally I dump it into a pan, and but it's easier. It, you just dump it into a tub. So I'm going to show you that I can't do it with one hand. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my funnel off. I'm going to remove my elbow. Up under here I'm going to put a pan. Because I will have gold come out right here. There will be gold inside this tailings tube or the screen indicator that'll tell me what size I need to go to next on this screen. Now to clean this unit out you want to make sure you tip it back because there's gold sitting right in here right inside right on that edge there's gold sitting there on that edge. So I've got a tub down here I'll show you how I clean it. And now my unit's clean, it's all ready to run, and that's what I have left. I'll put it to a pan and show it to you. Okay, so when I run a quarter of an inch, I leave a little bit more material in here because these rocks are so easy to pan off. They're really round. So they'll just, you can just settle your gold down. And these round rocks just roll right off. And so what I've done is I've just taken that real quickly, 10 seconds panned it off. I'm just going to tap it on my hand. And you'll see the gold on the right hand side. Good looking color there. But you can see the gold in there. Good looking colors. But here's the important part it's not just big gold. I've got all my gold. I got one big piece that probably wouldn't have fit through an eighth inch screen. Now I wouldn't want to have missed that nugget right there if I had screened an eighth of an inch. But I've also got a bunch of fine gold sitting in here too. Okay, so here's my uh, tailings tube indicator, and all I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull the rubber mat out. Rinse off the rubber mat. Same thing, I'm just going to pan this real quick. And 
And of course you should always pan into a safety pan. Do as I say, not as I do. Now this will tell me what my next screen size I need to go to. <laughs> and that's pretty good there. Let's see if you can see that. I'm going to take this over in the shade. Okay, so here's my tailings tube indicator. And what this is telling me is that I can skip the 1 8 screen. Normally I'd have to go 1 quarter, 1 8. This is telling me I can go straight to a 20 mesh. That there's nothing that won't fit through a 20 mesh that's in here. Yeah, I spread it out a little bit for you. But you can see that, I mean, there's 150, 200 mesh gold in here. The nice thing is, is I can also, now I can steal this little piece of gold, this amount of gold too, so I have less gold to worry about. So, I ran one quarter inch. It took me four or five minutes to do the entire runabout. I've got, weight wise, I've got 95% of my gold out of those cons <laughs> in five minutes, about 20 seconds of panning. I've got 95% of the weight of my gold out, starting at a quarter of an inch. Look at my screen size indicator. It tells me I need to go to 20 mesh, so I skip a screen size now. I go straight to my 20. Another four or five minutes, I'm gonna have almost all that gold out. Now I'm just down to fine stuff. I may only have to go next to 100 mesh. So I've only had to go to maybe three different mesh sizes. I've got 98, 99% of my gold out in about 15, 20 minutes. Now, <clears throat> eight yards of material, um, hundreds and hundreds, four or five hundred buckets that we ran the other day, brought it down, the mats captured in the sluice. I had about a gallon and a half of concentrates. Normally when I would have come home and gone to either the work center or gone to here, I would have had two, three, four hour process getting all that gold out. Now, 20, 30 minutes and I've got 98, 99% of my gold out, beyond down to easy 100 mesh gold. Real simple method, real fast. Great product. Okay, so after that, uh, checking my tailings tube, I've gone to a 20 mesh screen. And uh, this is all plus 20 here. And then all my minus 20, which I'm gonna run, is in here next. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how to reset this. I've already run a quarter inch. I looked at my tailings tube, not much in it. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this mat, put it back inside my tailings tube. And put it right to the edge here. Just seat it down. And I wrote little top on here. And now I'm gonna fire up the unit. I'm gonna get my funnel going first. Put my funnel back on. Funnel goes back on, fire up my funnel. Again, just a little bit of water going through that funnel. Turn on the main unit. Now, here's an important point. The finer you go with this, the less starting water you want to have. And you want to put a test in to make sure that material is falling down. And all I want to do is just make sure that I'm in a fluid bed state. Now, if I look down here, if I see this looks a little bit slow down here, I'm just going to give it a little juice and make it fluidize. And once again, I'll just put it through a cycle. Again, that was about two or three minutes of feeding. Now I'm just going to put it through the cycle, take me about another minute or two, and I'm done with 20 minutes. As soon as you start to see that clear line show up, so I can see all kinds of gold inside this tube now. And I'm about going to stop there. I think I might go a little bit higher, but. And we'll stop it there. And see, I can tell here. 
always forget to shut my. I can always tell here too. You can see the few, the amount of few cons. I've only got probably three or four tablespoons. Just a quick pan will be down to two. Now again, when you take this tailings tube off, have a pan under here because there's going to be gold sitting right there when it comes out. So I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my screen indicator or tailings tube. I'm going to pan that out and see what the next screen size is I need to go to. Okay, as wind is killing me here, but this is my tailings tube indicator. So what that tells me is, is you know, I see two pieces that tell me I might have to go to 50 mesh. So the next one would be 50 mesh next screen. So I've gone from one quarter to 20 mesh to 50 mesh. Okay, and so that's what that's what um, I'm left with on my 20 mesh inside from inside the tube, and I shut it down to where I have about oh four or five tablespoons. The reason being is is that all these particles they're all round and they just roll right off when I pan. Just pan it and you'll see them. It takes 20 seconds to pan that layer off. Well, I wanted to give you some sort of, but that's what was actually caught in my tube. So I've got some pieces in here that are plus 50 and minus 20. But you can see that how much gold was actually pulled out by that first run. I really don't have a whole lot of gold left. Beautiful part about this system is you don't have to classify all of your minus, all your one quarters, one eighths, uh, 20s, 30s, 50s, 100s, 150s. You can do that, but doing it this way just saves you a little bit of time. You can just run through this material just put it all through at one quarter, put it all through at one eighth, put it all through at 20 mesh, run it through three or four minutes, boom, boom, boom. You'll have the majority of your gold out. What I do is <clears throat> when I'm in the active season, uh, we don't typically, we don't spend a whole lot of time on a few specks that may be left in that black sand. We actually put that aside. We have what we call our trash cons. And our trash cons, we just leave to the side and during the winter time, we'll take that, we'll run it to the gold cube, concentrate it down, then run it through again. But I'm pulling 98% of my gold out, maybe even more based on weight, <clears throat> probably within 15 to 20 minutes whenever we have runs here. So that's that makes life a whole bunch easier. Anyway, guys, we're now shipping the unit as I showed it today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you use it. Hope you like it. Thanks.